Here I have some samples from my collection of periodic table elements. Here is uh, hydrogen, which is number one on the periodic table. It's a gas. It's the most abundant element in the universe. It's what powers the sun and is also what uh, gives the power to the hydrogen bomb. The next most abundant element in the universe is uh, helium, which is also a gas and also found in the sun. It was, uh, in fact, uh, discovered in the spectra of the sun. Uh, in fact, its name derives from helios, which uh, means sun. Uh, over here we have some copper, which is a very beautiful colored metal, one of the few colored metals. It's used to make uh, electrical wires and uh, plumbing pipes. Those are the main uses of it. It's also used in coinage. Uh, here we have uh, calcium, which is number 20 on the periodic table. Most people think of calcium as being a white powder or being like bones and teeth and stuff. But in fact, calcium is actually a metal. It's what's known as a alkaline earth metal. Um, and it's uh, actually a metal. The white powder is, in fact, uh, most often um, calcium carbonate. This is strontium, uh, which has to be stored under oil to prevent it from oxidizing. It's also an alkaline earth metal. Uh, if I remember correctly, strontium is what is used to create the red color in fireworks, if I remember correctly. Uh, this is iodine, which is used uh, to make iodine uh, tincture. Iodine tincture is uh, really only 1 or 2 percent iodine. Uh, this is boron, pure boron, which is actually very hard. It'll scratch glass. Uh, here is europium, which is a rare earth element. It's got a really cool and interesting name, I think. This is a uh, hafnium, another element with an interesting name. Over here I have uh, some cadmium. Cadmium is used in nickel cadmium batteries, which uh, are rechargeable batteries, but they've largely been superseded by nickel metal hydride and by uh, lithium ion batteries. This is uh, mercury, which uh, is uh, liquid at room temperature. Until recent years, mercury was used commonly in uh, thermometers and barometers and such, but uh, it has largely been phased out uh, due to the fact that it is uh, quite toxic. Here we have uh, silicon. In fact, making this video would not be possible without this uh, element. Uh, this is crystalline silicon, number 14 on the periodic table. It's used to make uh, all kinds of uh, computer chips. Here we have carbon, which is number 6 on the periodic table, right above silicon. Carbon is the basis of life, um, and it comes in lots of different forms. This uh, happens to be a rod made out of graphite, which is one of the forms of carbon. Carbon also occurs as charcoal and as uh, diamond and as the uh, buckyball. Um, here is uh, magnesium. Magnesium is... It, is a metal that is uh, flammable, especially when it's finely divided. Magnesium burns very, very hot. It's uh, used in some uh, incendiary weapons. Magnesium is also a lightweight metal, so it is used in applications where light weight is uh, needed. Uh, it's not as flammable when it's in a solid form. It's only really super flammable when it's what they call finely divided. Um, it's also used in a variety of uh, 
metal alloys with other metals. This here is uh, indium, which is uh, a very soft metal. It's 49 on the periodic table. It uh, is so soft that you can cut it with a knife and dent it with your fingernail. This is a uh, gallium, which is liquid at just a few degrees over uh, room temperature. Uh, I believe its melting point is uh, around uh, 86 Fahrenheit, roughly. Um, it's uh, unlike mercury, it uh, sticks to the sides of the tube when it melts and gives it this uh, silvery color. Um, this is uh, titanium, which is uh, about as close as a, to a super metal as you're going to get in the real world. It uh, has the highest uh, strength to weight ratio of uh, any metal. It's uh, used in applications where high strength and uh, lightweight are called for. Um, unfortunately a lot of items that are labeled as titanium are not pure titanium because uh, they use the word titanium as a brand name to convey strength. So just because something says it's titanium doesn't mean it is, but this is actual titanium in this uh, tube here. Um, over here we have iridium, which is one of the densest elements of the periodic table, along with osmium. This is a gram of iridium. It's roughly 22 and a half times the density of water. And for comparison, this is beryllium over here, which is one of the, it's not the least dense uh, metal, but it's one of the less dense ones. Uh, uh, beryllium is also very hard and uh, it is used in applications where lightweight is called for, uh, uh, like in the uh, aerospace industry. Uh, it is also toxic when it is uh, ground or filed and the dust is very toxic so you don't want to grind or file it without uh, uh, proper uh, precautions. Um, over here is uh, niobium. Niobium is used uh, frequently in body piercing jewelry due to the fact that it is a hypoallergenic uh, metal. This is a uh, tantalum. Now if I remember correctly I believe tantalum is used in a certain kind of uh, electrical capacitor. And over here is uh, tungsten which is also quite dense. Uh, tungsten is used in uh, incandescent light bulb filaments and in the form of a uh, tungsten carbide it's used to make uh, cutting tools because of its hardness. This here is a uh, bismuth. Now bismuth is normally thought of as the uh, last stable element of the periodic table. It's number uh, 83 but in fact bismuth is actually very slightly radioactive. However its half-life is orders of magnitude greater than the age of the universe so uh, the radioactivity is very very slight. This is aluminum which is a very common metal nowadays. It's used to make all kinds of stuff because it's lightweight and corrosion resistant. Um, but at one point aluminum was actually more expensive than gold because of the difficulty in extracting it before uh, uh, large power plants and uh, widespread uh, use of electricity. This here is uh, a very toxic element. This is arsenic. Very very poisonous element which is why it's uh, all sealed up in the capsule to keep it uh, isolated. Um, this is scandium, which is a metal. In fact, only uh, a few hundred pounds of scandium are produced every year, but uh, 
it's not uh, ultra expensive like gold or silver because uh, the demand for it is uh, not very large so uh, the price doesn't go sky high and this is a uh, germanium which is a metalloid just like uh, silicon which means it shares properties of both metals and non-metals here we have a piece of pure chromium now normally you see chromium in the form of a uh, chrome plating which is used for its uh, appearance and its corrosion resistance this is a chunk of uh, pure chromium metal um, and uh, that's uh, some of my uh, element collection. Now I have more samples than this, but uh, I don't really have time to show them all in one video, so that's a little taste of my element collection.